Hello, my fellow crypto enthusiasts. It is Friday, August 21st, 2.48 p.m. Let's take a look at the crypto market. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is Link. With big upswings comes nice big corrections. Uh, I've seen it hit 20%. Perfectly normal. The six hour. I don't think uh, the world's ending for Slink. It's corrected around 20%. Maybe it even correct a little bit more to 25%. Around $12. $12.50. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the six hour. Oh, the profits of doom and gloom. Oh, Bitcoin's going to crash down to 9,000. Okay, we're on the six hour schedule here. Now, if you'll notice, Bitcoin goes up, it corrects, it continues up, it corrects, it continues up, it corrects. It's been doing that since uh, July 26th. I don't see why it would change any difference. Bull market's a bull market. That's how it works. To you YouTubers out there, the profits are doing out there, stop panicking everybody, okay? I don't know if you got an ulterior motive, but just please look at the six hour long range charts. Let's even take a look at the day long charts. Get causing people anxiety. Look, on the day charts, we're still above the EMA 12 on the one day chart since May. All right, six hour. I don't see the disaster, the impending disaster they say is coming. Let's check Litecoin. You all know my history of Litecoin. I'm not particularly fond of this market maker that's running things in here because he's running things to benefit himself. But in spite of that, the bull market's going to affect Litecoin. It has a lot of fans. Again, it's following the same pattern. No need to doom and gloom this one. It went up, it had a nice rise, a small correction to the 12 EMA on the one day. Maybe it'll hit the, the 26, and I expect it to bounce back up again. Again, this is a bull market. Just recently started at the end of July. Now you can see, nothing major, no catastrophe. Now, Link, on the other hand, like I told you before, Link went up so high so fast, it's got to correct. It's, it's just not normal. I expected 25%. It hit 20 Still quite possible for it to go down to $12.50, $12. Adam. Adam, probably go up some more after people get done on the sellout. They're selling. Algo hit 70 cents. It went up really fast. So again, expect a correction. Just like Link. See? Again, it went up fast. Hard. Of course, there's going to be a correction now. It's tired. It's got to recover. It'll probably go back up soon enough. Just have patience. Patience is the game when you're trading. You can either do a Day-to-day -day trades, which I do do some, I take the 5% or 3% and close my book for the day. Then, of course, I have my long-range trades. Okay, this is Tezos. Again, Tezos went up hard, corrected, went up hard again. Now we're seeing its correction. We're going to six day. Let's take the one day. Let's take it a step at a time. Nothing to really panic here. It's bouncing off the 26. You can see last time it bounced off the 26. Bounced off the 26. Maybe exceeded a little bit. And then it goes right back up. Okay, back. Basic attention token. On Batman. Okay, basic attention token. Quite a rise up. Over 40, let's see, 44 cents. It, of course, when you have a spike like that in price, you're going to have a correction. But still up 10%. I think it's going to start going down. Stella, well, 
Stella likes 10 cents definitely. Stella doesn't want to go anywhere. So again, if you're not sure about where the market's going, go look at the long, longer range charts and you'll see. You'll, you'll pick up the pattern. Look, oh, a correction after a sharp rise. Then we go up again. Oh, another correction after a nice rise. Then we go up again and then another correction. It's just the normal flow of the market. Each time it goes down, it goes back up higher. Don't panic. Stop listening to these guys who do Fibonacci circles and every time it hits the ring, they don't bother to check if the market's uh, stock, stock RSI is an oversold position and they automatically think everything's going to go down. If you're not too sure of what I'm talking about, I'll even show you that. Look, I can't even spell Binance. <laughs> there you go. Now, if you're not too sure what's going on, we're having a correction on all the ones that exceeded a large spike like this. This is just a correction. Now, look where we are. On the one hour, we're close to being oversold. Let's check the four hour. Actually, we still have a little bit more to go down. <clears throat> okay? Let's check the other ones. That's BTC. Let's see Link. Link is way oversold on the four hour. And it's oversold on the one hour. Usually what happens, people, when you see it's oversold, the price tends to go up. Okay? We're way oversold in oversold territory. Pretty low. Well. So again, I'm teaching people not to panic. You need a clear head if you're going to trade. Let's take a look at Algo. Look at Algo. That's the one hour, the four hour. Algo's, again, I expect the Algo to go back up. We had a correction because, look, when you have the volatility in this market, when you have a real hard spike up, you got to expect the spike to come down to at least take half of the increase or the upswing. That's the way I always look at it. So I hope this helps everybody. This is some simple observations using a couple of graphs. Uh, some people like more, some people like less. That's the extent I go, as far as I go for the crypto market. So good luck trading, guys. Be aware of what's going on. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a like. Go and look at my previous channels. You'll learn how the market maker manipulates LTC and how you can take advantage of that information that they give you to make turn it into some profit. And that's all I got to say today. Over and out.